What's up guys? Thanks for tuning back into Florida Man TV. Today we're going to do a little install tutorial. Should be super simple and you might not even need this video, but we're going to install the Rough Country tonneau cover, three panel hard tonneau cover for a Ram 1500. I have the five foot seven bed, so the, uh, the short bed in a crew cab, but they make two different beds, a 6.6 six, I think it is, and a 5.7. So let's go through what we got real quick, try and make this a quick, easy install video for you. Does not come with the wrenches, so don't, uh, don't get too excited there. <laughs> but you get your instruction kit, of course, and uh, free bugs in the video, if you can see him flying around, get out of there. Uh, of course, your three panel hard tonneau cover your drain lines this is the uh cab side of the truck bed uh squishy pad for rain intrusion you get your rail clips which will make sense in a second this is a uh, i think a track locking um deal here but we'll figure out what those are for in a minute and then you get your rails that go on the inside of the truck bed so we're going to walk you through it real quick here. It should not be a very hard install. Enjoy the video and I uh, hope we can help you out a little bit if you're questioning whether you want to do this yourself or not. All right, step one of the uh, instructions here is attach the rails, of course, that the tonneau is going to go on. And uh, you just do the left and the right hand side. If you look at this, you're going to put the clip on the inside of the truck bed rail. And it says rail spacer goes here. Now that might be confusing for you. The rail spacers are already on the rail itself. So this is the one point, two point, three points that the rail is going to be on the truck bed. And obviously the drain side of your rails goes toward the cab of the truck bed, cab side of the truck bed. So we're gonna go ahead and set these up, get them centered up here, get these clips installed here. And hopefully this will go pretty quick. Okay guys, when you've got your rails here, you might be figuring, well, which rail goes on which side? Pretty easy to see. There's a little foam guard on this side here. And then of course your drain. So your little foam pad is gonna go against the truck bed, like so, so that you get good grip on there. And uh, of course you just kinda make it even and flush with the back here and then it tells you right there where your clamps go so that's how you're going to put them on there uh, we're going to get this installed here and uh, measure it up and we'll be back okay guys when you put these bed rail clips on there what you'll notice is there's two positions for this clip to go you have a lower position here you see that little notch right there that's going to bring your your hook down a little bit the hook on the right side here or you can go to the next position up and if you go to the next position up it raises that hook up a little bit that's an adjustment to make sure that you're grabbing the rail properly now if you look these are going to slide in we've got our clamp spacer right here they just kind of slide in over that spacer right and you want to make sure that they are hitting the uh, as far up as you can on the rail so mine I put on the lower position there you can see that and under the the bed rail itself just want to make sure that that's up as high as it can go so you get the maximum grab and then finally when you look at your see if I can get a good angle with some light when you look at your rail spacer in here, which is kind of hard to see in the lighting conditions, but this rail spacer, you don't want this clamp sitting on the spacer. You want it to go up into the edge. See if I can get a better angle on a different one. I don't have my flashlight with me, so it's hard to, to see this. But there's an edge up here that you actually want that clamp to sit in. Pretty self-explanatory. You can see there's a little notch or a little groove right there, and that goes all the way down. So you want your clamp to be up over the spacer in that little groove and clamping on the metal of the rail, not on your spacer. 
So I hope that makes sense for you. Again, it's pretty self-explanatory, but different trucks differ. If you've got a really short uh, bed rail and you can't get the clamp all the way up there, that's why they can give you the, the ability to drop that down a little bit. So just see what fits best for your truck. Okay guys, we got both rails installed. Now you want this top edge, I think I said below at first, but you want this top edge just about an eighth of an inch higher than the edge of your uh, bed rail cap here. So pretty much if you can just feel a rise, it's about an eighth of an inch. Now of course they did have the tape measure and you put this up here and get your, your one mounted right you know one inch line right flush and then you can kind of eyeball it but you'll see when this goes on you just got to be close it doesn't have to be exactly an eighth of an inch and then as far as positioning goes when i do these i like to leave a little space back here but about an eighth of an inch maybe a sixteenth of an inch just a little gap on both sides i don't like them all the way back because truck beds flex so I like to have mine back just a little bit so it doesn't rub on my bed liner. When you crank these down, they need to be tight, these bolts, but not He-Man tight or Guten tight, right? You just want to crank them down until they're, what I do is wrist tight, right? If I can just do it with my wrist and not put my body into it. When you start to crush the washer and bow this washer out right here, you know you're probably about tight enough. You know these things aren't super heavy and you don't want to crush your your bed cap here your bed rail so anyway just get them tight let's move on to the next step all right almost done here guys you put your tonneau cover up on top of the bed here your buckle side goes to the front your latch side here will go to the rear pretty self-explanatory but just in case you need to know okay when you set this in here guys you'll see that it fits in this rail here and when you're going about seeing if it's centered right it should click and kind of click in place now i'm a little off there we go on this side but that's how you're testing this to make sure that you have it centered okay so i'm still a little off center i got to work it a little bit here and then don't forget, you're going to want to close your truck bed. Sorry, my terminology is all wrong today. Close your tailgate, okay? Because you don't want that, right? This should come back and sit on this edge right here so that you get your water sheeting. And that's how you've got to center this thing up. So I'm going to finish centering it up and I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, I have the back, well I have it centered and I have the back slid back. That didn't make sense. I have the cover slid back as far as I want to. Let me show you how I do this. I've done one or two of these before. So first off for your height, to make sure that you have your rails mounted in the proper space, you're gonna want your tailgate to be able to close and clear that cover while ever so slightly pushing up on it. You probably can't hear that, but just that little foot, right? There's a seal on the inside of this right here. And you want that seal to just make a little contact with the tailgate. But you don't want to be hitting your cover with your tailgate. So if I push down on this, you see how the cover is hitting? We don't want that. We want to be able to close the tailgate, open the tailgate freely, but make a little seal. So if you close your tailgate and you find that your gap is too big on one side, for example, mine was too big over here, it's not a problem. All you got to do is drop your tailgate, loosen up your bolt on this back rail, then when it's loose, and I don't mean like loose flopping around, but loose so that it will have some resistance but still be able to move on the rail close your tailgate and then right where that clamp is just give it a couple of whacks right and it will level itself 
to your tailgate. Then you just pop this open, go in here and tighten up that bolt again and it should be nice and level. So we've got that set up and you just want a little bit of the tailgate to go under there. You don't need it sticking all the way back and I'll show you why. Because you gotta have enough room to get this foam under here to make your waterproof seal. And this is the next step we're gonna work on. So if we kind of look under here, you may or may not be able to see there's a gap under there. Probably not, not with the sun reflection, but there's a big gap. You can see it if you go inside and you guys should be able to see the light gap that's under there, okay? That's what this piece of foam's for over here. So this little piece of your ceiling foam all right, so I'm in the truck bed here, and what we want to see is that this foam, when we stick it in the, the gap here, is it really going to seal? And you see, as I push it up, it's not. It's not really going to seal. So how do we fix that? Well, we need to lower this front part of the tonic cover. How are we going to do that? Same way we did before. We're going to loosen this bolt right here so that we can adjust it and we're going to whack it and clear that gap a little bit so i'm going to go ahead and do that and i'll be back all right we have adjusted this so we loosened our our bolt we also loosened the center one just a little bit and we gave it a whack and it sat right down in there we did put the foam on this edge first because we knew we were going to seat it and as you can see no daylight no gap so now that we got it seated down properly i'm going to tighten these bolts back up here and in the middle on both sides double check our alignment and we'll move on to the final step okay we have recentered our tonneau cover flipped it back down good way to see if you're centered is look at your latches and see where does the latch sit you know where does it sit here where does it sit here that should be about the same if it's not shift it back and forth until that thing latches nice and easy show you the foam real quick in case you guys need to see it because we don't have this tied down permanent yet so there's the foam strip that goes in you want it as far back as you can on the bed rail and it goes right in this nook here. So make sure that it's not rubbing and it should just sit right there, nice and flush and tight. We're gonna tighten that down in a second with these clamps. So these clamps right here, they will go in a little slot that I'll show you. And when you tighten this down, it's going to pull, pull the bed cover down the tonneau cover will get pulled down so it makes a nice tight seal so your bolt head is a square style bolt head and that's going to slide into the track hooks go this way towards the bed rail you just slide this guy right in the track here and then there's a metal edge that this is going to sit on here So you can kind of see there's a big flat spot and then a little tiny edge and you match that up with the grooves that are in this clamp and then you're just going to tighten the clamp down. Now the reason these have a little turn knob is so that you can actually take your cover completely off if you have something big that you need to put into your truck so that the entire cover will come off. So we're going to do these four, two on each side. And then we'll be back with a final wrap up. All right, we've got our clamps installed. Just make sure that the clamp is inside this rail. And like I mentioned here, it's grabbing the little edge. And then you just tighten it down. It'll kind of stop, so you don't need to wrench these down. It's a hand tight. You should be able to pop it open real quick. You guys about ready to finish this up? One last step, drain tubes. So. 
under here you'll see your barbs for your drain tube just kind of slide your drain tube up on there it can be a little pain twisting it seems to help get your yeah get your drain tube on there right and then you've got a couple of options the default option is you find your hole down here and just stick the end of this into the side of the truck bed and boom drains out your other option is you could cut this thing shorter and you could just move it right over to this top hole in my instance but each truck's going to be different and you could you know cut it about here where my thumb is and tuck it in there if you don't want this hose hanging down inside the truck so i will probably do that at a later date but for now we're just going to have the drain hose right in there the way that the instructions say and that's it guys so if your uh tonneau cover is open don't forget to clip your clips right here so that it doesn't fly away and to make sure that you've done it right grab your bed cover should click nice and easy on both sides there grab the next side or the next tab whatever should click nice and easy into place you see all i did was drop it and both of my latches engaged and then finally your truck bed i keep saying truck bed your tailgate should close nice and easy boom there you go guys that is the rough country flush mount three panel hard tonneau cover installed when we crank those little screw clamps down you can see we cinched up nice and tight here sunlight will kind of mold this stuff by the way you know from the factory you're gonna have a little gap here and there here's a good example but i promise you i've had one of these before you sit in the florida sun especially for a little bit that's just gonna mold itself right on down there but there you are so what do you think with the bed cover i like the flush mount style instead of the puffy cloth ones that stick up and i think it's handier to have the hard panels you can just flip it back and secure it in case you need to stick a piece of wood out so there's your install guys if you follow the instruction sheet you don't even need this video but if you're a visual person and you like to see somebody else do it in just a little more detail there you go took me exactly 57 minutes almost an exact hour but that's because i was stopping and picking up the camera so should be able to get this done in about 45 minutes don't even need a helper super simple stuff i hope you enjoyed it and you you got some instruction out of it i will catch you guys on the next one damn it looks good